What's good, YouTube? Monty Mon here. We are back with another New England Patriots theme team video here. Today, we have Julian Edelman, Cobb and Noy, and Trent Brown. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the team. Here we go. It's going to be just a quick video of showing y'all here. Um, I just bought the Julian Edelman. I did not feel like playing the solos. Uh, here are his stats. 98 speed, 99 catch, 96 catch in traffic. 96 spec catch, 97 short, 95 medium, 95 deep, um, 96 overall on a power up, plus go deep, 98 and brawler. Um, I'm going to show you guys his abilities. I have not played a game with him yet, but I will be playing with him later. Pause and I'm putting playmaker on him. I'm going to just try playmaker out. I haven't used playmaker yet all year, but um, he gets route tech in tier one with slot matic which is a uh, actually good um julian edelman started the year off with like 90 speed and you know he is not never the guy to get fast speed in madden so for him to have 98 speed this year is crazy so uh yeah you have 98 speed on him route tech 2 ap because he's a route runner second tier uh gets playmaker jukebox wide receiver apprentice um and then third slot he gets everything but spin cycle grab and go and evasive um so i mean stats wise the card is good but uh we're gonna see how he plays again 98 speed for julian edelman this is crazy record breaking ground breaking um because i remember he won super Bowl mvp i think his speed was 92 93 at best probably so i mean this is record-breaking car right here for Julian Edelman. Trent Brown, I do not have him completely maxed out because, number one, I'm going to wait for his price to drop. But number two, O-lineman, do I need a 98 overall right tackle in Madden? Just think about it. Do I need one? Do I need to go out there and spend, let's see, how many coins is he? Do I, do I feel the need to go out there and spend, what, 500K? Oh, my fault. 350K on a right tackle who's going to play the same as a 95. So I'm probably not going to buy him, but his stats are pretty good. He's a 97 on my team. He has 99 pass block, 95 run block. Stats is pretty good. Put as protector on him. He's cool. Um, I know y'all see Trent Williams over there. I got a team of the year fantasy pack from EA Play. So I figured why not just pick him and put him in the lineup, <laughs> you know, so uh I, I just put him there you know does it win is cool um but yeah um and then we have kyle van noy on defense uh his car i haven't played with any of these cards yet but he has 95 speed 99 tackle 99 play rate 97 block shot 98 power move 81 finesse um in terms of power move and finesse wise he's not better than Chandler jones but everything else he beats Chandler jones out in uh, i'll show you guys his abilities in tier one if you guys want to see them pause the video um tier two he's a 98 overall so he does get four ability slots so you know we don't see how these guys play man um, i'm gonna go out there and play some games with them again in terms of gameplay on the channel man if you guys want to see gameplay on the channel let me know i posted a jimmy garoppolo gameplay I didn't like how it really came out. You know, you guys can go down there and, and watch it anyways. I didn't like how it came out. Um, and also, I just, I don't know. I don't really play Madden head-to-head -head like that. So, I don't really, you know, I don't know, man. I, I go on here and play once in a while. But, uh, yeah, here's his stats or his abilities. He gets everything but medium route KO, flat zone KO, which I'm shocked about. Um, enforcer, short route KO, mid mid zone ko and once okay once up ahead i'm not shocked about but i'm shocked he doesn't get none of the zone ones um because his zone right now without lockdown is a 85 so i mean eh, he got 90 zone on my team but 85 for the regular power up that's that's good for outside linebacker um but other than that there is no upgrades on the team Again, I don't have Junior Seau's full card. I'm probably will never get him because he has what 95 speed. There's no need for him. Um, Malcolm Butler does not have a card or a power up, so I cannot put him in the game. 
um, Ultimate Legends at the time of this recording is is Friday. So Saturday, Friday night, they're going to preview some. Again, we had Richard Seymour, who could get a car. I expect him actually to come out tomorrow, if I had to guess, because he was one of the earlier ones, like very earlier ones. So I can't expect Richard Seymour to come out tomorrow. And again, right now, the only legends we have on our team that I could see getting a car is Chad Johnson. Well, presumably in the next month or so, because Moss is going to get Ultimate Legend, but he's going to be a 99. He's going to be at the back end of the year. But uh, yeah, you have Chad Johnson. John Hanna and we have Richard Seymour. Those are the three guys that I could see getting Ultimate Legend cards. Um, you know, Darius Thomas got one, but he was a, uh, a he was one of the Team Diamonds, Team Diamonds, I believe. So I don't know how they're doing that this year. We only had two Team Diamonds uh, or Team Diamonds, whatever they were. Darius Thomas and Sante Samuel. Sante Samuel got his upgrade, so he's probably done for the year. But uh, yeah, like I said, those three cards could get one. And Ronnie Harrison was also a team of the year, or team of the week card, and he got one. So James Harrison can get one too as well. So that's four players. Revis, again, probably it's March right now, probably early May, early April, he can get one. Um, so yeah, you got that right there. Um, Hainsworth, I don't know. I'm just talking about guys that would be upgrades to the team. Hainsworth probably would not play. James Harrison, I don't know. Uh, it depends on his overall and his speed. He might play. Um, Malcolm Butler would play. Revis are playing. Um, and you go to offense. Randy Moss is probably going to... He's, he's playing the rest of the year. Chad Johnson would probably be my best receiver. But because of his archetype, I'm going to keep Edelman and Chad Johnson and Randy Moss and then probably demote Cooks to like wide receiver four or five. So those would be my guys right there. I don't expect Ben Coates to get a ultimate legend strictly because he was the last team of the week drop. So if he gets one, he'll be like a 99. I don't think he'll get that. Gronk is still in the league, so I don't think he'll get an ultimate legend. And John Hanna, again, was like one of the first ones, so... I can see him getting the card. But other than that, uh, again, you know, Joe Thune can get a movers card for, uh, you know, he's in free agency. Shaq Mason, is, I can almost, I, I can literally bet a million dollars Shaq Mason will be our LTD. If you go to, I'm going to show you guys right here why. If you go to Corey Leet and go to right guards, Shaq Mason is literally the only one without an upgrade. So he is definitely getting a card. He's going to be our LTD. Am I mad about it? Not really. Um, you know, we need old linemen. I have Michael um Owe. You know, bro, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I got him there. Uh so Shaq Mason is I, I can almost put a million dollars on it that he's gonna be our LTD. Plus Edelman was like our only other power up on offense, and he just got a card. So where am I going? I'm going where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Corey Elite. You go to Corey Elite. All of these guys here have upgrades but Shaq Mason. So, yeah, you expect the Shaq Mason LTD card to come out for us. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not really mad. You know, we need O Lyman. So, he'll be what, a 97, 98? That's two 97, 98 O Lyman right next to each other. Uh, David Andrews is solid. We have Joe Hanna. He's going to get an Ultimate Legend. And our left tackle, I'm cheating, but, you know, Isaiah Wynn is okay. He's not the best. <clears throat> He's not the best. Um, You know, maybe Logan Mackins get a card, or we get another, I don't know, we get another card there. Um, But, yeah, that's the team so far. Um, Those is what I think to be the future cards of the game. Um, I mean, while I'm on the subject, bro, I think... You know what? Nah, we're gonna leave that for another video, man. We're gonna leave that for another video. If you guys enjoy the theme team, leave a like, comment what you guys think of the cars. You guys want to know anything about the team? Let me know. Um, you know, this is. I'm not gonna say we're winding down, but in terms of this game, and this is the problem with this game. The game, it came. It the speed wise on these cars, it just it flew by, right? 
all of these guys from now on will be strictly speed upgrades. They're not going to play any better than the guy behind them besides speed, right? So when Revis gets this card, he's not going to play no better than freaking Stephon Gilmore. Honestly, he's just going to be faster. You know what I mean? So these guys that are coming out are going to be just strictly speed upgrades, right? Um, our theme team is blessing up to the point that these, besides O-line, we don't really need anything, right? Um, you know, Cam Newton can get a card. I will probably go out there and get Cam Newton just, you know, to switch up my quarterback. Um, Corey Dillon, he has 98 speed. What are you going to do? Give me Barry Sanders has 99. So we don't have no other running backs in the game. He's straight. He's probably, you know, Brandon Cook's 99 speed. Edelman, 98. Ray Moss, 99. Best they can do, Chad Johnson, 99 speed. He's going to play just the same as all these other guys. His, his ability points are going to be cheaper. And, uh... You know, that's, that's how it is in Madden, bro. Speed and abilities. <laughs> uh, Gronk, you know, stats do not matter. Only speed and your archetype. Gronk, I don't think he'll get it. He'll probably get a card later on. He had a good Super Bowl. He'll probably get a card down the road. Ben Coates is probably done for. Um, Kyle Brady, he could get upgraded because the campus heroes got upgraded. Um, they got power-ups for some reason. There's plenty of cards that need and plenty of guys that need power ups and they gave the campus heroes ones from like two months ago power ups so my assumption would be that when the third campus heroes come out they all will get power ups to like 97 they all be 97 but in the power of 98 I, I i don't know what's going on i don't know what matter did there but kyle brady can get upgraded he still plays fullback for me so he doesn't he doesn't go out there and catch the football for me anytime um Maybe Cam Newton gets a campus hero card, like I said. But other than that, uh, yeah, um, this is the team right here. I also will probably bring back Lord Malloy if that happens. But, again, these guys are just speed at this point. D lineman is really straight. I, I don't know. Unless Aaron Donald gets traded to the Patriots and then he gets a 99, D lineman is straight. Trey Flowers, all these guys are going to play and do the exact same thing. So, you know, I'm not really tripping like that. Malcolm Butler gets a power up. I'll make a video adding him to the team. Um, Darrell Reeves gets a card. Whatever, cool. Gilmore could get traded in real life. He might get a movers card. Hey, you know. Um, but yeah, man, that's the video, right? Hey, comment. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, guys, like I say, leave a like, comment what you guys want to know, and I am out.